Hello, good morning. Once again, my dear Mathium 2 students, how are you today? I hope you're doing good. So we have here about, we're going to learn today about the Congress postulate on single, uh, side, angle side, or SAS. So remember that we have five different uh, postulates in congruency. So namely, if you still remember, we have uh, this one, side, angle, side. We have angle, angle, side. We have side, angle, side. Uh, angle, side, angle, sorry. We have side, side, side. And we have the right angle, hypotenuse, and the side. Okay, so those are the five postulates okay, that we have here for congruence. Now first we have here on uh, side, angle, side, or SAS. So what is SAS? Now this one, as you can see here in our definition, uh, if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent respectively to two sides and the included angle of the other triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So what does it mean? What does it mean? Now it says that if two sides of and the included angle, like for example, these are the two sides. Oh, where's my cursor? So these are the two sides. This side here and this side here of this first triangle, okay, and the included side. It means that this side here, uh, this angle here in the middle. So this is the angle that we are talking to, the included angle. Nah? So we have here the two sides and the included angle, meaning the inside angle, the angle in between the two sides, okay? Of one triangle are congruent respectively to two sides and included angle of the other. So the same. So we have here the two sides and the included angle. Na? So if these two sides and the included angle are equal to the two sides and in, uh, included angle, then we can say that the two triangles are congruent by means of SAS or side angle side. Okay, so the same with this uh, this uh, uh, figure here. We have two triangles again. So the triangle ABC and triangle XYZ. So these are the two sides here. Okay, and this is the included angle. So remember that the included angle is in between of the two sides. It cannot be like here or here. No, it must be inside because included. So when you say included, it's within, within uh, the two sides, or the, uh, the, the angles will be in between. So the similar to the other triangle, you have here the two sides and the included angle. Okay? So we're going to prove, we're going to prove that the given two triangles are congruent by means of side, angle, side, or SAS. Nah? So we have here example. Oops. Oh, okay, this one. So we're going to prove this uh, using SAS or side angle side. Now we're, uh, we have here a two triangle again. Okay, we have IJH and KML. So these are the two triangle that we're going to prove whether they are congruent or not. Okay, now again, when you are proving, proving two triangles, then you must state one side to be equal one angle to be equal and another side to be equal so you need to prove a statement there would be proof statement that you need to write so that these two triangles to be congruent so the three uh statement must be there to support that the two triangles are congruent so first we have s so we're looking for the s side so this can be the first one this side here ij and we look at the other side, this one, KM. So if you see this symbol, it means that it's given. Okay, it tells already in the in the uh, diagram or the picture that this side here is really equal. Now, if you see this one, this symbol or this symbol, it means that they are equal to each other. The corresponding angles or corresponding sides. Now, so like uh, the first one is IJ. Okay, this side here is uh, equal to the corresponding side, which is KM. Okay, we have here, IJ is equal to line side KM, that is given, okay, and that is the first S. Now, we go to the second one, which is angle. Angle. So, where's the angle? This one. Okay, angle, angle J. 
And the corresponding angle with that is angle M, this one. So you can say angle J is equal to angle M, or you can also say angle IJH is equal to angle KML. It's up to you. It's the same. Because here, the vertex for this one is only one. That's The name is J. And the vertex for this, the angle is named as M. So you can write this letters respectively. Nah? So we have there. The angles IJH is equal to angle KML. Or this one. You see, J is in the middle. M is in the middle. Nah? Okay? And that's given also. And that is one angle. Okay. Now we proceed. We look for a letter S because since we have SAS. So as we see here in our uh, picture, we have this one. Okay. This side, JH, is equal to the corresponding side, which is ML. This one. Okay. So we have there. HJ is equal to line or side LM or ML. That is given again. Given in the problem. So we have here S. So, for this one, we completed all the three statements that we need to support so that the two triangles will be congruent. Na? We have the S. First S is IJ, line side, side IJ is equal to uh, side KM or line KM. We have the angle IJH is equal to angle KML. And we have here the uh, side HJ is equal to side LM. Okay? We have S. So therefore, we can conclude that triangle IGH is congruent to triangle KML by means of SAS. As simple as that. So we prove already. Okay? Now we go to the next one. Next one. We have here the triangle ABC and triangle XYZ. Nah? Triangle ABC and triangle XYZ. We're going to prove them that they are congruent. So first is we look for the side. So side here is given, this one, similar to what we have in the first example, this one. This is the corresponding side of this side. Now when you say corresponding, it is the same side of the other triangle. Okay, so we say side uh, BC is equal to side ZY or YZ. Okay, they're the same. Yeah, they're given as our first side, followed by angle. Angle, we have angle ACB, ACB because we are talking for this. This angle and this corresponding angle Z, they are equal. Okay, so we have here angle ACB, angle ACB, considering this, and angle XYZ, X, uh, XZY, sorry, XZY. So considering this one. So that's given again for our A. And we look again for another S, which is this side here and corresponding side, which is this one. That is side AC or CA is equal to side ZX. Nah? And that is another side. So we completed already again the three sides, uh, three statement here. We have side, angle, side. Okay? As easy as that. So we can conclude again that the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle XYZ by means of SAS. Okay, so again, you need to you need to present three statements to prove that the two triangles are congruent. Nah? so one for S, one statement for angle, another statement for the side. And uh, if you uh, give the statement for those three, then you can conclude therefore that the two tri given triangle are congruent. Okay, question. Now we go to the next one. This one. So we're going to prove that the triangles are congruent. So we have here, we can see that the triangle uh, PRQ or PQR. Okay, triangle PQR. And we have here the triangle QRS. Nah? QRS. So we have here two triangles that we're going to prove that they are congruent. So PQR. Okay, PQR. And triangle QRS. Okay? Now, using again SAS. Na? So, first is we have the side. We look for the side. So, you will see this one, this symbol. Na? This symbol means again, it's given and they are equal. So, this symbol here, this one, makes only tells only us that 
parallel. That this side here is parallel to this side. Nah? Okay, we say uh, the side PR is equal to side SQ. This one. Okay, that's given. Okay. Now, next is we have the angle. The angle. Look at this blue color. So, this angle here is equal to this angle here. Nah? So, for this triangle, we can say triangle uh, angle PRQ. Okay, PRQ or QRP. And that is equal to SQR or RQS. Nah? For angle. So, PRQ, PRQ, and SQR. This angle here is equal to this angle here. Now, you cannot say for this angle R or angle Q. No, because for angle R, there are two angles for R. This angle here and this angle here. You have two as well as with Q. You have this and this one. So, you need to specify which angle is that. Like angle P, R, Q, and S, Q, R. To tell which angle that you are pertaining to. Now, we go for the next one. What is S? Okay, so again, for this one, we have this side here, this one. This is the third side. You see, side, angle, side, this one here in the middle. So that is what? This side, RQ, is equal to Q or RQ. Why? Because that is common side. They are using the same side. They are using one side only. The two triangles are being attached to each other uh, using that one side. So, we call it common side. If two triangles are sharing one side, okay? If two triangles are sharing one side, then we call that side as common side between the two triangles, right? So, this side, RQ or QR, is common side between the two triangles, PQR and QRS. So, that's another S, okay? So, remember, that's common side. So, therefore, for this, we prove again. That this triangle, we have the first statement S, the second statement A, and the third statement S again. Therefore, we say that that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle QRS by means of SAS. Okay? One more. We have here one more example. This one. Oh, why is it that there's no uh, power uh, the animation? But it's, it's okay. So we have here to prove that triangle AOC. Triangle AOC is congruent to triangle uh, BOD uh, or DOB, BOD or DOB, okay? So, it's the same. This triangle here and this triangle here. So, first is the side. Now, we have here the side already given. Side CO, this side here, is equal to la side or line DO. This side is given already, right? This one, this side here and this side here are given. That's the first side that we have, Okay? Now, next is we have uh, angle. So, angle AOC. So, this angle here, AOC, BOC. Why is it that they're, ang they're uh, equal? Because vertical opposite angles or vertical angles. Now, what is vertical angles? If two lines uh, intersect to each other, you form uh, e uh, equality of angles, equal angles. Na? So, this line DC or CD intersect with side or line AB. And they form these two angles to be equal and these two triangles to be equal. Na? So, if you are intersecting two lines, then you are making vertical angles. There are two angles to be equal to each other. So, this angle here, AOC, is equal to angle BOD. That is vertical angle and that is 1A. Okay? Remember that if you intersect two line, then you form vertical angles or vertical opposite angles. This angle here and this angle here are equal. This angle here and this angle here are equal. Okay? And the last one we have, side AO and side BO. AO, this one side and this side here, they are equal. It's given already. So that's another S. So we completed already uh, the three S, uh, the three uh, statement that we need to prove, okay, to use to prove support that the two triangles A O uh, C O A is uh, equal or congruent to D O B, 
Okay, so we have here, therefore, the two triangle, triangle COA is congruent to triangle DOB by means of SAS. Did you understand my question? So that's uh, uh, three exa uh, four examples on how you prove that the two triangles are congruent by means of SAS. Okay, so that's all for today and we see you again next time. Bye-bye!